Hi YouTube, welcome to 8Quills channel. This channel is going to be dedicated to fragrance reviews, perfume making and my scent journeys. So um, today I'm going to be reviewing a perfume by the perfume house called Zoologist and I have my sample here. It's a fragrance called Dragonfly. Now I discovered Dragonfly um, when I visited a shop in Covent Garden called Bloom Perfumery. If you don't know Bloom Perfumery, I would highly recommend that you go visit them because they are such a great encyclopedia for discovering new and niche perfumes. So without further ado, let's get reviewing. I'm going to spritz some on my wrist, but first, straight off the bottle, I can tell you that it's going to be very floral it's a sort of like it's very green it's got powdery essence but not too much and it's sort of conjuring up very green very watery very sort of aquatic yeah, aquatic scene for me. Of course, it's called dragonfly because dragonflies, you know, they're light, they're airy, they um, they live around ponds and, um, you know, they're very beautiful as well. So I think that with that sort of imagery, the scent definitely matches that. So um, I'm going to spray a little bit on now on my skin to see whether, you know, how it plays out. Okay. Wow. Okay, that first hit is very, is very gentle, very beautiful, very airy scent. And I'm just so excited by it, as you can tell. Oh, and the second part that I'm getting is, mm, yes. Now I read that it has like a rice note to it, which is very interesting. And I'll read the, uh, the, the notes out to you in a second, but I read that it has a, a rice note in there, which as it sort of, sort of starts to dry, you can definitely see that coming through and but it's not like you know the scent that is like when you're cooking rice although it has hints of that it's not as heavy it is still very light very airy and very gentle and very beautiful very just a floral i would say it's just gorgeous and I can smell that aldehyde that comes through um, as one of the notes. I am really excited by this scent, I have to say. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, I would say this is definitely like a spring and summer scent. It's very, it's very airy. It, it smells like spring to me, you know, it smells like, like you're walking, you know, along, you know, the canal or along some sort of like sea or like some watery area, like a reservoir or something like that. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I'm going to read out to you the, um, the scent that it carries. So in here, um, at the top notes, we got aldehyde, heliotrope, lemon, peony, rainwater. Heart notes is cherry blossom, clover, iris, lotus, and rice. Base notes, you've got amber, moss, musk, and papyrus, and sandalwood. So from what I can tell, that I can smell the cherry blossom coming through. It has almost like an almond scent, I have to say. It's it's very, um, 
but it, it blends so well that you can sort of hardly detect it because it's just part of the overall fragrance story. It is absolutely just so beautiful. And now that it's drying a little bit more, that cherry note is coming through a little more. That sort of first hit of the lemon and the peony is just sort of starting to lift now and part ways. And now I can smell the moss, the amber and yeah, that cherry blossom is still there. But it is so beautiful. I can't, I can't even tell you how, like you'd have to smell it yourself. It's so lovely. This is definitely a fragrance I would wear. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of light and breezy fragrances and I'm a big fan of sort of like liquidy and watery fragrances, but not your like sea salt, like, um, you know, Mediterranean sea air kind of fragrances. I'm, I'm not really uh, drawn towards, towards those kind of scents. This, this scent is aquatic you know it is still watery it's still but it doesn't have that sort of um like zingy freshness to it it has more of a much more like a subdued very elegant very floral liquidy um alchemy to it and it's just been balanced so well and it feels very very warm, like you're in somewhere somewhere that is like a tropical climate that it is the, the sort of the air is sort of low, if you know what I mean. It's sort of like very um compressed air. Um and yeah, it's reminded me of when um when I was younger, and I'm from Thailand by the way, and I grew up um, you know, uh in in Thailand in the villages and near you know uh, ponds and lakes and things like that so um, this is definitely giving me that vibe it's definitely taking me back to that time you know um, of of the air being very compressed and being very uh, very low and very murky and I'm seeing lots of, um, you know, green weeds and green scenes, if you like. And, and a pond in front of me, like a really sort of like large pond where there's lots of um, f wild flowers. This is, this is probably not something a guy would wear. Um, well, I can't see a guy wearing this, uh, I can see sort of maybe like a young 25-ish, um, lady wearing this. It's very much, I would say it's very much a daytime scent, um, it's not, it's not that dark sexy scent it's very much you know light airy it's not going to disturb anyone um if you were to wear it to work for example um or out anywhere during the daytime with lunch you know i'm um, going out for lunch with friends yeah it's not um Yeah, it's just not gonna offend anyone. It's very inoffensive, but it's still very unique. It's still very beautiful. And, um, you know, I love niche perfumery because, you know, a lot of what you find in the stores are very, very beautiful scent. And, um, but a lot of times they're much too agreeable for me. They're just too, too nice, too pretty, too, 
you know, just too, like anyone would wear it. Um, and the reason why I got into niche perfumery is because I like fragrances that connect to a person, that connects, you know, only, only that person that understand that scent will wear it. You know, that's why I love niche fragrances. And the reason why I would wear this one is because it just creates such a vivid imagery inside my mind of, you know, growing up as a, as a child and, and being in this beautiful scenery and it's just so, so gorgeous. Um, thank you very much, Victor Wan, for uh, creating this. It's just delicious. Um, and that's all I've got to say about it. So join me on my next uh, review and video and uh, scent journeys. Um, make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up. I would really appreciate your support as I begin you know, my YouTube journey. So see you on the next video.